Hello everyone and juniors. I wanted to share with you today a technique that I learned called mindfulness drawing. So before we even get into that, let's go talk a little bit about mindfulness. So mindfulness is a way that we can become aware of truly where our surroundings are and become alert in the moment rather than thinking about the future or the past. So a good analogy that I learned um, when I was looking into mindfulness is we constantly think that we're on the Titanic and the shipping, the sinking and we're focused on rearranging chairs and any other little uh, detail that doesn't matter in the log scheme of things. But as you do mindfulness, you realize, well, maybe we're not even on the Titanic and thinking, you know, why am I worrying about rearranging this, the chairs? So mindfulness allows us to calm down and be more alert in the present moment rather than stressed out about something that's not even happening. So when I was going through my new poll of mindfulness, I actually found out this really interesting topic, which is mindfulness drawing. So mindfulness drawing incorporates the idea of mindfulness, which is you're more alert in your moment, and it, it combines a little bit more meditation. So I think we should just kind of jump into it because I think it's better seen than me trying to explain it. So I'm going to share my iPad screen, which you don't need an iPad. You can do this on a piece of paper. It's just for demonstration purposes. Wave patterns. I normally delete them afterwards because I just think they kind of look weird and I don't like keeping them on my paper. But you can definitely just keep them on a random piece of paper. It doesn't matter. So what you do is when you go up, this up pattern right here, my up pattern that's right here, you're going to breathe in. And when you go down, this is where you hold your breath and then you go down. And you don't want to focus on making the waves perfectly even. You don't want to speed up your breath. You don't really want to slow it down too much where you're focused, where you're anxious about it. But you just more want to be alert of your breath, breathing. And you want to focus on your breathing rather than focus on what's stressing you out. So I'm going to do a couple rounds with you guys. And then we're going to go on to the next technique and then our third technique. So let's go come down. You're gonna go. And you don't want your hand to guide your breathing. That's a very important detail. Your breath is guiding your hand, not your, not the other way around. So let's go just do that one more time. So it's a very nice technique. If you do it a little bit longer than this fresh kind of rushed version, it actually is very relaxing and I like to do it in the morning when I first wake up because sometimes I get really anxious in the mornings. So once you've done that a couple of times, you could move on to this next technique or if you're good, you can always, of course, sleep off with that. <clears throat> so you want to draw a circle. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle, but you don't want it to be a rush circle. So this is an okay circle, even though it looks kind of ugly, but you don't want to do something like that. Just focus on, you're going to breathe in. breathing out and my pen likes to do that sometimes. That's why I tend to erase it because it doesn't always turn out perfect. And that one turned out perfectly in my iPad. So on to our third technique. So I made this uh, boxy, kind of weird boxy um, thing at the beginning of my first week. And then I just left spots for me to fill out as I went by. <clears throat> and you just want to focus on simple patterns that aren't too hard to draw. So you can focus on the patterns rather than what's stressing you out. So as you can see, I have stripes, I have squigglies, I have circles. It doesn't have to even be this perfect. It's just the point is to focus on the patterns rather than what's making you stressed out. And then another thing I kind of want to get into is this little corner, as you can see the scribbles. That was kind of intentional. 
Um, it's an anxiety technique where if you're really anxious, you just take your emotions out onto the paper. So you let your emotions guide your hand. Maybe you feel the texture of the paper and how the pen feels against the, the paper and how what directions you wanna move into. I had four tests that week and it, it actually kind of helped because it was like a way of me um, not suppressing my emotions, but realizing how I felt and kind of seeing <laughs> how I was feeling, which you can kind of tell was a little chaotic, which that's okay. I mean, you kind of want to do this on a scratch piece of paper. I just did this on here because I wanted to show you guys. <laughs> so I would definitely recommend using any or all of these techniques. Uh, I don't like recording myself. I learned very early on while doing these, so definitely probably don't record yourself doing this because it made me so much ner more nervous. But if you're just doing it before class or before a test or uh, in the morning when you wake up or before you go to bed, I think it would really benefit you. And without much more, let me know if you guys have questions. Uh, on these prints from period four, have a good rest of your day.